हाय फ्रेंड्स दातार जियोनिस इंडेक मोटवानी अल्गोरिदम फॉर बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स कॉमनली नोन एज डिजिम और रेफर टू एज मोटवानी अल्गोरिदम दिस अल्गोरिदम इज डिजाइन टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ वंस इन अ डेटा सेट एंड विल सी हाउ वी काउंट द नंबर ऑफ वंस इन अ गिवन डेटा सेट दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजिम अल्गोरिदम uses big o log square n bits to represent a window of n bit and allows to estimate the number of ones in the window with a error of no more than 50% so we speculate that this algorithm will give a 50% precise answer now the digim algorithm for each bit that comes in for the valuation has a time stamp and it is at a time stamp at which position it arrives the first bit has a time stamp of 1 the second bit has time stamp of 2 and so on the positions are recognized with the window size n the window size are usually taken as a multiple of 2 the time stamp is represented with modulo n and are represented as log to the base 2 n bits the windows are divided into buckets consisting of the time stamp at its right end we call the buckets as the buckets will be consisting of bits zeros and ones the number of ones must be in the power of 2 which are referred to as a size of bucket that is we'll be considering the bucket size starting from 1 2 4 8 so on and so forth for example if we see here 1001011 so we call this as number of ones of four so this bucket size is of four so we have to actually count the number of ones which are present in the stream bit now there are few rules which needs to be followed for forming the buckets the right side of the bucket should always start with a one if it starts with a zero we have to neglect that and start it with a one every bucket should have at least one 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 means we should have at least bit one out of zeros and one at least one bit one should be there else no bucket will be formed and all the bucket sizes should be in the power of 2 the buckets cannot decrease in size as we move to the left hand side you will see as we go on using the examples that the buckets on the right hand side will start with the bucket size 1 they will increase as we move towards left so if we have started with the left side bucket size 1 we have to always go on the increasing order towards left we cannot decrease the size now let's take a simple example the input stream bit is given over here the stream bit if you see is combination of zeros and ones so when i have this combination of zeros and one if you can count the number of bits zeros and one it is n is equal to 24 that is ones and zeros present here are in the combination of 24 now we have to estimate the number of buckets and the ones in this particular example now this is the input stream which is there and if as you see we have divided this into buckets here there are four ones so this is a bucket size 4 again these are four ones this is a bucket size 4 as said in the rules the right hand side of the bucket should always end with a one so here it is it ends with a one and here this is a bucket size 2 this is again a bucket size 2 and this is a bucket size 1 we have to find out the buckets this way this will be explained further see this is the bucket size 1 bucket size 2 2 4 and 4 now let's take a simple more example that if a new bit comes in then it should be always dropped as the last last part of the bucket and its end time should be prior than the end time units before the current time which means that if my n is equal to 24 as it was in the previous case 
if i add one more bit so my n size increases to 25 now what should i do with this one extra bit which is added and what should i do with the bit which is already existing so the simple rule says if the current bit on the left hand side is zero then no changes will be needed but what happens if my current bit is 1 so let's follow the steps that how my buckets will be updated we create a new bucket of size 1 for just this one bit end time stamp is equal to current time stamp that is whatever time it is entering that will be taken as a current time stamp now before taking the example that if there are three bu three buckets of size 1 we combine the oldest two buckets into bucket of size 2 but let's take an example this is a new bit which has come in and this is the older bit which is there so if it this bit is 1 then what we need to do we need because our bucket size is n is equal to 24 so as i have added one this so it has become 25 so we need to ignore this particular bucket so what happens this particular bit will be ignored so what happens next is that is ignored so you will see here this instead of a bucket size 4 it has only 1 2 and 3 ones over here this is again a bucket size of 4 this is bucket size of 2 this is bucket size of 2 here when this bit was added this became a bucket size of 1 and a bucket size of 1 as i added this new bit over here it says the oldest two buckets the oldest two into the bucket of size 2 should be merged so this becomes a bucket of size 1 this becomes a bucket of size 2 2 2 4 and 3 as this one it has been ignored now what should i do next let's take a another example this is an input stream if i add a continuous new input stream which is of the bits 10101011 as this is added the bit stream is always added to the right hand side of the previous data so my new bit becomes like this so this is added to the right hand side it is no no it is never added to the left it is always added to the right hand side so this is the new bit stream added if my n is still 24 then i will have to neglect few bits from here but we take an example that my n is now increased to 32 if my n is now 32 that is the number of bits i have it over here is 32 so we work accordingly so the buckets are formed now the first bucket is formed with a size of 8 which is again a multiple of 2 the second bucket is formed with a size 4 the third bucket that will be formed will be of the size 2 next is 2 and then we are remaining with these two single bits so they'll be formed into bucket size of 1 and bucket size of 1 so you will see that as i increased my number of bits i also increased my n is equal to 32 so here what we had to estimate was number of buckets so here we can see the number of buckets with the number of ones that we have is we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 buckets of the size two buckets of the size 1 two buckets of the size 2 one bucket for the size 4 and there's one largest bucket which is of the size 8 this is how we use the digim algorithm to find out the number of buckets and the number of ones in the input stream thank you very much